Welcome to Biology Made Easy. In this lesson, we are answering the question, what is the electron transport chain or system? The electron transport chain is related to the mitochondrion and the chloroplast. So quickly, the mitochondrion structure, we have an outer membrane, inner membrane, intermembrane space, and matrix. Chloroplast structure, we have outer membrane, inner membrane, stroma, thylakoid, lamella, the thylakoid, fluid filled sacs, tiny splatter sacs. So I have one thylakoid drawn here. This is the membrane of the thylakoid, and there is a thylakoid compartment filled with fluid. Also notice the intermembrane space of the mitochondrion is fluid. So now the question, what is the electron transport system? It is enzymes, coenzymes, membrane proteins of all special kinds. These molecules are on the inner membrane of the mitochondrion and then the membrane of the thylakoid of the chloroplast and these molecules that are on the membranes are arranged in complexes or functional units such that we have complexes like NADH dehydrogenase we have various cytochromes and we have cytochrome oxidase these are molecules enzymes transport proteins that are neatly organized on the membrane and these molecules in every complex is organized in a neat series now the molecules undergo redox reactions where you have molecules gaining electrons to become reduced giving off electrons to become oxidized in the process energy is given to form ATP. Here I have put down molecules, this, 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 arranging series as is done in the electron transport system. This molecule, if it loses electrons, it becomes oxidized, it gives off energy, and some of the energy will be used to form ATP. This molecule which accepted the electron becomes reduced. It will also give up the electrons become oxidized and produce energy, some will be used to form ATP. That is what happens in the electron transport system. The molecules are arranged neatly in series and in complexes or functional units. And as the electrons are moved from one molecule to another, energy is produced that is used to form ATPs. If we can look at a system like this, as the electron moves from one molecule to another, the electrons come in with high energy. By the time they've gone through a series of molecules, the electrons have become low in energy. And then to mop up the electrons, oxygen in the system will absorb the electron. So that is the electron transport system. As far as electron transfers are concerned. However, molecules feed the electron transport system with electrons. And many molecules, not only electrons, but come in with hydrogen ions. The question is, what feeds the electron transport with electrons? The answer is, is fed with electrons from one. Sunlight hits this chlorophyll, electrons are excited, electrons are released, and the electron is accepted by an electron acceptor, and then it goes through the electron carrier system. So it's accepted and it comes through. Through the system, moving from molecule to molecule in a redox reaction producing ATPs, the electron returns back to chlorophyll. That is one way by which electrons feed the electron transport system. Then electrons also feed the electron transport system like hitting chlorophyll and water molecules breaking down 
into hydrogen ions and electrons. So the electrons can move through. This is photosynthesis and respiration. Electrons are brought in by NAT reduced and fat reduced to feed the system. So you notice that the electron transport system is concerned with electron transfer that generates ATP. And then when molecules come in with hydrogen ions like reduced NAD, reduced fat or hydrogen ions from photolysis, now the hydrogen is given off as protons and electrons. The electrons will move through and the hydrogen ions are pushed out of the membrane into the intermembrane space of the mitochondrion or into the hyaluronic compartment if it's photosynthesis. Fat will also do the same. The hydrogen ions are pushed into the intermembrane space. The electrons are carried on through the electron system. Now, this is respiration. If it's photosynthesis, the hydrogen ions are brought into the electron carrier system after photolysis and the hydrogen ions are pushed from the membrane into the tylakoid compartment. So the electron transport system have a way of transporting electrons and generating energy and has a way of dealing with the hydrogen ions that came in associated with the electrons those hydrogen ions are pushed out of the membrane into the fluid spaces above the membrane. The hydrogen ions are concentrated and so a hydrogen concentration gradient is formed which pulls the hydrogens together through the ATP synthase and in the process more ATPs are formed and hydrogen ions are released into the matrix if it's mitochondrion or hydrogen ions are released into the stroma if it's happening in the chloroplast. So this is the electron transport system. Well, this is where we end for today. If the lessons have been useful. Give us your likes and kindly subscribe. In our next lesson, follow up to this, we'll look at Chemiosmosis, part of the electron transport. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.